Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Community and bilingual volunteers needed to provide free tax help in 2023. Bilingual. My editor Phil is like, listen to that oppressive terminology. Indicating language is some kind of binary, like having only two. I'll have you know it's possible to be trilingual or quadrified lingual or whatever. I mean, honestly, it's ridiculous. There, there's almost as many languages out there as there are genders, dang it. Bilingual. Uh, whoever wrote this oppressive language binary harmful headline needs to be harshly tweeted at. Like in every language including the most difficult language ever invented, the one most modern journalists use these days, the deconstructivism language. Difficult because it's actually a form of anti-language, growing out of our deep hatred for honest communication, mainly because our ideas are, are stupid. But like, if we destroy the language, maybe no one will know. Anyways, first a joke. Honestly. Has anybody ever called you a goody two-shoes? Hooray! Goody two-shoes. Alright, what does that even mean? That tree is my father. What does that even mean? It means he's half tree. It's like, yes, uh, I do wear two shoes. Those must be comfortable shoes. I bet you could walk all day in shoes like that and not feel a thing. So as to protect my two feet? I wish I had shoes like that. My feet hurt. And I do try to get a good pair of shoes. Well, I'm always said it. there's an awful lot you can tell about a person by their shoes. A pair meaning two shoes, which I believe is the primary form of purchase of shoes. Where they going? Where they been? You know, to do a good job protecting my two feet. I've worn lots of shoes. And they're like, you spoiled fool. I bet if I think about it real hard, I could remember my first pair of shoes. When I was your age, we were so poor, I could only afford one shoe. Two fifty? How many reels do I get with that? Uh, about five. Five? So I guess that's about 50 cents a reel, huh? Let me get one. I had to wrap my other foot in duct tape. Right on. One on a, one on a ribs. No, 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 no. One rib. And to get to school, I had to hop my way through waist-high snow for 40 miles, one way. One rib. I sure am hungry. Uh, make that one rib to go. One rib? Each day. Dang spoiled goody two-shoes. Mama said they'd take me anywhere. She said they was my magic shoes. IR 2022-216, December 8th, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service is looking for volunteers to train for the upcoming filing season to provide free tax help in communities across the country. Bilingual volunteers are particularly needed. Last year, more than 58,000 volunteers gave back to their communities by preparing more than 2.2 million federal income tax returns for individuals and families nationwide. For over 50 years, the IRS Volunteer Income Tax Assistance, that's the VITA, and Tax Counseling for the Elderly, the TCE programs, have offered free tax preparation to people with low to moderate income that need help preparing their own tax returns. This includes people with disabilities and senior citizens. Many sites are also able to assist individuals for whom English is a second language. Volunteers can be uh, exciting, educational, and enjoyable. Here are a few good reasons to consider signing up to help. So no previous experience required. I'm just gonna let you know right now that income you know, isn't on the list. It's a, that's what, what it means by volunteer. But we got all these other cool stuff that you might get out of the experience. It, it is a good thing to do, obviously. It could, you could get experience, no previous experience required. So you get experience from doing something like this, looks good on a resume and so on. Free online tax law training provided by the IRS. So you can you, you rub elbows or whatever with some people that work at the IRS building networks and whatnot and possibly 
helping you out in, in some other kind of ways with training and that kind of stuff. Tax professionals, enrolled agents, and accountants can earn CPE credits. So possibly you can you could take care of the CPE, continuing education, flexible volunteer hours. So obviously if you're volunteering, then you usually get a more flexible schedule. Although sometimes those volunteer organizations are more strict than any any sp- place you've ever worked at before in your life. <laughs> but any case, various volunteer locations, various volunteer roles, and uh, so helping a community obviously would be a good thing to do. It makes you feel warm and fuzzy, warm and fuzzy. So some volunteer sites now give volunteers the options to assist taxpayers virtually versus the normal in-person help they provide. This allows volunteers to help taxpayers complete their returns over the phone or online. Other volunteers will conduct a quality review with the taxpayer before the tax return is submitted to the IRS. Virtual volunteering is a great option for new volunteers since they can ask experienced volunteers for help completing tax returns. Volunteer hours are flexible and free tax help sites are in such places as nearby community centers, libraries, schools, and churches. Free training is available at link and I learn taxes. There's a link to that here. We've got some tax information as well. If you want to check that out, it's always uh, good stuff to know. Volunteer sites may also offer classroom training generally between November and January. The instruction and training materials cover how to prepare individual income tax returns, both federal and state, and how to file them electronically. More information about the IRS Volunteer Tax Preparation Program is available at IRS Tax Volunteers page. There's a link to that here. There potential volunteers can submit their interest. Uh, The IRS will send them an invitation to a virtual orientation session when they will learn where they will learn uh, more about the program. So if you're interested in that, it can be a good learning experience, obviously good to to help the community. There are many people that, you know, aren't can't get what they need just from the online website and services. It's been more difficult to contact the community, the IRS directly in the last couple of years, although they hired a bunch of people. So I don't know what they'll do with that. We'll see uh, if that increases, you know, the capacity. But in any case, good to good to do that stuff. So in any case, there's links to that here. There'll be a link to this in the description.